have a sample problem here that will allow us to apply what we know about cost behavior. So it says Princeton Dry Cleaners has capacity to clean up to 5,000 garments per month and then it asks us to complete the schedule for the three volumes as shown. So we've got 2,000 garments, 3,500 garments, and 5,000 garments. So let's go ahead and fill it in. Well what do we know about variable costs? So the cost per unit does not change with variable cost. So essentially what we need to do is take the total variable cost of 2100 and divide it by the volume which is 3500. So if we take 2100 garments and divide by 3500 we get 60 cents. So our variable cost per unit is 60 cents and actually we can fill that in right here. Variable cost per garment is going to be 60 cents and that is going to be the same regardless because that variable cost per unit does not change with volume. So if we know 60 cents per unit is the variable cost per garment and they are going to clean 2,000 garments that means my variable cost here will be 1,200 which is the 60 cents times the 2,000 and we can do the same here with 5,000 garments. 5,000 times 60 makes 3,000 for garments. Total fixed costs. Now what is it that we know about total fixed costs? Total fixed costs do not vary in total but the uh, fixed cost per item will vary depending on the volume. So it says here the fixed cost per garment is two dollars if they make 3,500 garments. So if I take that two dollars and I multiply it by the 35, I'm going to get 7,000 in total fixed costs. So now I know what my total fixed costs are, $7,000. So if my fixed costs are 7,000 and I only make 2,000 garments, 7,000 divided by 2,000 is going to be 350. Oops, sorry, that's not where I mean to put that. Okay, so that 350, oops, should be the fixed cost per garment. 350 times 2,000 we know is going to be 7,000. So all these across are going to be 7,000. Now 7,000 divided by 5,000 garments, 7,000 divided by 5,000 should give me a cost per unit of a dollar. 40 fixed cost. Now I can just add those together. So that's 410 is my average cost per garment. 260 if I do 3500 and it drops to $2 per garment if we clean 5000. So here you can clearly see the more garments that we clean the less the cost is per garment that we actually clean. So it says why does the average cost per garment garment change and the reason that it changes is not because our variable cost is we have more products the reason it changes is because we have the same fixed cost that we can split out amongst more units and then the very last component to the question says uh, suppose the owner erroneously used the average cost per unit at full capacity to predict the cost the total cost at a volume of 2,000 garments. Would he over or estimate, underestimate his cost? Well, if we think about it, um, right now, I guess we could add up our total operating costs here would be uh, 8,200. Add these two, we get 9,100. If we add these two, we get 10,000. So the question then becomes, What happens if he uses this $2 as a cost instead of the 410? Well, we know at 410 we have $8,200 worth of operating costs. If we incorrectly use this $2 as a cost per unit, we would take 2 times the 2,000 and that would be $4,000. Well, that's a problem, right? because just a second ago we said 8200 was the actual so we would underestimate the cost by $4200 the difference between 8200 and 4000 thank you